Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to explain to you how you can dynamically preview a document on a SharePoint page using the file viewer web part. Uh, let me first explain to you what I mean by that. So I actually did a video previously on the file viewer web part. Essentially, a file viewer web part allows you to display embed a document uh, on a SharePoint page. You can embed PDF document, uh, um, any Microsoft Office documents in the Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. All right, and let me demonstrate how this works. Let me demonstrate this uh, how this works. I actually did the video previously, but let me just refresh your memory. So uh, here we go. If I, I just need to embed this file view web part right here, and it allows me, let's just pick this document, doesn't really matter. It just pretty much allows me to embed a document right on the page, all right? So uh, I can embed a document. If this is the most important document, I want everyone to see it right away when they visit my site. Here it is, and they can even scroll it down uh, this uh, this whole document right on the page without clicking on it. But this is not what I want. I actually want my users to be able to view all these documents in, in the same manner. How do we do this? Well, obviously, I cannot embed like you know 10, 20, 30 documents on the page it would be unreasonable, right? So uh, with that being said, what we can do is we can still embed the file viewer uh, web part, but we can link, we can establish a connection between the file viewer web part and our document library. And what this uh, will allow us to do, the user will essentially click the checkbox next to the document, and it will automatically be displayed uh, within the file view web part. Let me show you how to um, configure that, how to achieve this. Uh, let's go ahead and just delete this web part again. Actually, if you don't mind, I will just change the layout of my uh, page just so that we have a little bit more real estate here. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and add the file view web part. So first you just proceed uh, just like you, you normally would, right? We need the file view web part right here. I'm going to add it uh, to the page. Uh, now it's prompting you to obviously um, ask, you know, to specify the document you want to display. But remember, we're not displaying just a particular document, right? We want uh, the documents to be dynamically displayed as we choose one. So what you need to do here when the screen pops up is click cancel. All right, just click cancel. I know it's not you know, very intuitive, but that's what you've got to do. Then you need to click the little pencil icon on the left-hand side, and then three dots right here in the panel. And you will be prompted to connect to a source. Let's click. And essentially, this is where you connect to the source. I mean, obviously, in this dropdown, you will get to see all the document libraries you have on a site because it's at the end of the day, it's uh, looking for the document library to connect to. We only have one, if you had 10, you know, all 10 of them would be displayed. I only have one right here. So I'm just connecting my file view web part to my policies document library, which I already have on my site. Here we go. So I just established the connection and all you need to do is just hit publish. All right, and look at this. It actually tells you over here, this web part is connected to policies, document library that is. And it even tells you here, select an item in the library to view it here. So what that means now, if the user clicks the checkbox, look at this, the uh, document is automatically, um, is automatically um, you know, pr uh, pretty much uh, displayed on the page. And if I select another document, here we go, Perfect. It's another policy that I want to display and so on. You just select, you know, whatever policy, whatever document you want to display, and it's going to uh, be dynamically displayed uh, on the uh, in this particular file view web part on the page. Right. So pretty powerful when you have a large library of documents, right? You don't need to, uh, it's, I think in my opinion, this particular, you know, uh, this particular um, you know, feature is kind of uh, user friendly, and the user again just uh, needs um, you know to click on the particular file. Uh, they just need to remember to click on uh, uh, you know one uh, file at a time, not uh, um, you know not multiple files at a time. Here we go, and then the respective document will be displayed uh, within the window. One last thing I wanted to mention before we end this video: my SharePoint Maven Academy. Uh, it's a place where you can enroll in a variety of SharePoint and Office 365 courses. Uh, all the courses are available on demand. So once enrolled, you can pretty much take them at your own pace. 
you navigate to the academy by going to academy.sharepointmaven.com and i will also leave the link uh, in the uh, video notes as well uh, but once you make it to the site um, you can uh, access all the courses i have two different categories for you to choose from i have some end user courses i have some uh, site owner courses and i constantly record and add additional courses for you to enroll in uh, and again once enrolled you can access those courses at your own pace from the convenience uh, of your computer uh, so this is all i wanted to show you today hopefully you learned something new i really enjoy and like this particular trick uh, as always happy to see you on my youtube channel as well as my blog sharepointmaven.com thank you very much have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.